Welcome back everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1966 Volkswagen Double Cab Pickup. Now this has 957 horsepower, 628 pounds feet of torque from a 4 litre twin turbocharged flat 6 engine. The car now weighs 2,563 pounds, has all wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension and the car can now do not 16 3.458 seconds to 105.8 seconds and go to a top speed of 192 miles an hour so yeah this obviously has a lot more power than it had originally it only had what like 50 60 horsepower something like that so not a lot of horsepower to uh, lug around this car but then again it didn't weigh that much anyway and also you know it's not meant for going uh, fast it was you know a workman workman's kind of vehicle so um yeah to show all of this power and you know torque and from a much larger engine in it and yeah the fact that it can now even do 100 miles an hour whereas it can only do about 73 originally is uh yeah gonna throw this well out of its comfort zone um, but the biggest uh, concern with this outside of the fact that the handling isn't all that great although the other stats are fairly solid is the fact that it's got a high center of gravity so um yeah, even though the suspension has only been raised by 0.4 of an inch, it was already riding quite high regardless of that. And obviously it does have quite a lot of bodywork up top. So, yeah, this could roll over, uh, especially since the raised suspension is going to be still quite soft. And all of that is going to uh, alter the centre of gravity on the car. And obviously we are going far faster than we've ever meant to deal with before. So yeah, we and uh, we also don't have anything direct to compare it to. We have had four other Volkswagens on this series before, but nothing as old as this. And I think the Volkswagen the Scumbug was perhaps about as old as this, but that is a heavily pre-modded car before we eventually did more upgrades to it. Uh, we did have the Pickup LX, which again is another pickup, but that is a lot smaller and a lot lower down than this is. And the fastest Volkswagen so far has been the Santana, but even that is more modern than this, so... Yeah, could go either way with this, but it does have really rather good off-road capability. Acceleration is pretty great. The brakes are decent. Especially for a car that, yeah, at the end of the day, despite how big it is, isn't the heaviest of things going. It's just a real concern is push it too hard, will it roll over or not? That's the uh, main concern, but everything else for the most part is fine. Handling should be no issue because you know, it's got all-wheel drive now, it's got the off-road tyres. So even though the stat isn't particularly high, so there may be some on the steer, we should be alright. It's rocking and rolling, the only time it's bouncing around, which again is no surprise because it's got very little weight at the rear end being a pickup. Yeah, I've always admired how cleverly packaged this car is being a uh, pickup truck but also having a double cab. Which obviously is not the kind of thing that you'd uh, really see in America. This point in you know, the American pickup truck's life, that's for sure. So you do get double cabs nowadays. As far as I know, from the 60s at least, double cabs weren't a thing. I'm fine with being proven correct that's on that. You have to think only, what, like 10 years ago uh, before this one? We had the Ford F100, which control there, which wasn't a double cab, that only had, you know, a single cab. Oh, I'm going to have to properly rewind there. Yeah, the rear end came out from behind us and, yeah, really screwed us over, so I've only got one rewind left now. Hopefully will not need it. Yeah, do admire how pack well packaged this is, because obviously the engine is in the back. Although that doesn't mean you don't have the deepest of beds to work with. As you can see, it is fairly shallow. But at the end of the day, you can get several people in it. And all of your work tools and whatnot. Being 
relative. Alright, are we going to beat the Santana or not? It's going to be close. No, we're not. But I think we're going to be the second fastest Volkswagen that we've had so far at 3 minutes 21.637 seconds. So we're not as quick as the Santana, which managed a time of 3 minutes 20.394. So we're just over a second behind that car. But we are quicker than the uh, Pickup LX, which is about 16 years newer than this, as that managed a time of 3 minutes 22.744. So we're more than a second quicker than that. And yeah, the time that we've got here means that we are faster than a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon of all things, uh, which again is a pickup truck, uh, a Renault Clio RS, a Selina Sport truck, the MG MG6 X Power, as well as the MG Cyberster, uh, as well as a Lancia Delta HF Integrale Evo, which you know is a road going rally ver uh, going over rally version, as well as the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. And other off-road vehicles like the two GMCs, the Cyclone and the Typhoon, the Jimco Hammerhead and the Mitsubishi Galant VR4. Uh, but we are slightly slower than a uh, Rivian R1S, a Nissan Safari Z, Cooper Fermenter v VZ5 and a Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400. So, yeah, not the fastest that we've had by any means, but still, it is the second fastest Volkswagen that we've had. And given that it is the oldest Volkswagen that we've had that hasn't, you know, been pre-modded, um, that is still fairly impressive. So, um, yeah, overall, pretty good car. Uh, it did have some uh, issues with the handling. There was a little bit of understeer here or there. And, yeah, it did obviously have an oversteer moment where the rear end uh, got ahead of us. Um, but outside of that, yeah, on the whole, a fairly good vehicle, especially considering all of the extra power and torque that it is dealing with over the standard car. So you can get this car by doing a free race seasonal championship in the current festival playlist. So that will give you five points towards getting the uh, Mercedes 500E, which I highly recommend getting. It's a superb car. So yeah, you will also get this good vehicle and you know work your way towards getting that Mercedes as well. So yeah, two birds, one stone basically. Nonetheless, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.